All right, this is fifth grade, module three, lesson 16. We're going to be exploring part to whole relationships. And essentially what this, this means is we're going to be using tape diagrams in order to understand how the fraction is related to the whole thing. So in this example, it says to draw the ribbon. All right, and it says we've got one road. And I'm choosing this problem because it's kind of like the questions are, I don't know, it's not well explained. It says the piece shown below is three-sevenths of the whole. Complete the drawing to show the whole road. Okay, so they're saying this is supposed to be one big long tape diagram. And so far, they've only shown us three-sevenths of what we're supposed to see. All right, and so what I do is when I see that we're we're told that this is three sevenths, I cut in my mind, or I'm going to do it literally right here, this into three pieces. Now, why did I cut it into three pieces? Because we're told that there's a, we are looking at three out of seven pieces. So here's my three out of seven pieces, and if we're supposed to complete the drawing and draw the whole road. That means we should see seven little pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is seven out of seven, or one whole. So, oops, or one whole. And so that's that problem. And that's how I, I solve these kinds of things. I, I look at the fraction that they give me, and the numerator tells me how much of it you know, how many pieces I'm seeing, even though it originally was just like this one tape, but I'm told it's three-sevenths, so I know I'm supposed to cut it up into three equal little pieces. And our last slide for this video, we're told we have three roads, all right? And we're told that B is three times longer than A, C is twice as long as B, and then we're supposed to draw the roads, okay? Uh, let's start there before I read on. So we have three roads, A, B, and C. So I'm going to label this A, B, and C. And I'm going to begin with all three tapes being the exact same length. And you know what? I think that's probably a little long for this problem, although I wouldn't know. I'm just, oops, there. I'm going to see. Okay, one one and one. I'm trying to draw all three of those identically. All right, so now that we've started with three identical tape diagrams, now it says B is three times longer than A. Okay, so this sentence here tells me that I need to draw B to be three times longer than A. So you'll notice there's three of them compared to one of them. So B is now three times A. Now the next sentence says C is twice as long as B. All right, so what this means is C needs to be twice as long as B, which is, that's equal to B. Now I need to double that, so I need three more pieces. So now I've got my three drawings, my ro three roads, A, B, and C. So I've, I've solved this. Here's the roads. Now the question is, what fraction of the total length is A? Well, the total length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the total length is 10 units, and A is one-tenth. So A is one-tenth of the total. And then the next question says, if road B is seven miles longer than road A, what is the length of road C? So what they're saying there is they're saying that these two units right here is 7. So that means each one of them is 3 and a half. Because if two of them 
is equal to 7. That means each one is 3 and a half. So that means everything in this whole problem is 3 and a half. Every one of these units is 3 and a half. And so the question is, if road B is 7 miles longer than road A, so that means each of these units is 3 and a half, what is the length of road C? All right, so that means we have to add up all of these pieces. We have to add up all of these pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first add up the whole numbers. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. And now I'm going to put together the whole half numbers, or halves. So we have 18 so far. Half plus a half makes 19. Half plus a half makes 20. Half plus a half makes 21. So what is the length of road C? Length of road C is 21 miles. And that is 5th grade module 3, lesson 6, 16, using tape diagrams to understand how the fraction is related to the whole.